First up, I am delighted at long last uh, to welcome the new MP for Richmond Park, Sarah Olney, to the show. Uh, Good morning, Sarah, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, Very nice to speak to you. uh, We've been billing you all morning. We finally got you on. My first question, (laughs) most absolutely the most crucial question, when is the second by-election going to be held? The second by-election? Well, I mean, we don't really know whether voters really knew what they were voting for when they elected you, so shouldn't we have a second by-election? You want a second EU (laughs) referendum, don't you? I was was very clear in my campaign exactly what I was standing for, and the voters have returned me to Parliament with a very clear mandate. A clear clear mandate, but less than 50% of the people of uh, Richmond voted for you. Are you sure you've got that mandate? Oh, well, I won the vote last night on the on the uh, in the by election, mm-hmm. uh, and we you know we've overturned a huge conservative majority here. You have, and yet you have questioned the refer- EU referendum vote. You say that one of the biggest issues on which you stood, I mean, we thought Heathrow would be the big issue. There wasn't actually a single candidate who was campaigning for a third runway for Heathrow. So Heathrow became a dud issue in the, in the election. It became all about Brexit. In, in what way have you got a mandate from the people of Richmond? If you don't have more than 50% of the vote, the vote on the EU referendum on the June the 23rd was a much clearer mandate, wasn't it? Well, as I say, I, I campaigned on that issue in this in this uh, by-election, and I I won a clear majority of the votes last night. You, you absolutely did, but uh, your margin of victory was only about the same as the margin of victory uh, in the EU referendum, about four point five percent. In which case, again, should we not rerun the by-election? To be clear, well, we accept the result of the uh, of the referendum. What oh. we're saying is that we think there should be a a further vote on the terms before we make final decision to leave. Did your did uh, your party leader Tim Farrow did he mention that before? And did anyone else on the Remain campaign mention that before June the twenty third? Well, it's it's uh, you know it's a development since oh. the referendum. I oh. mean, I mean, the, the, oh, so we're allowed to change I mean, our policy we... after the referendum and then go back and revisit the referendum? Is that what we're doing? Sorry, I missed that. Well, I'm just a bit confused because when we, we had a Remain campaign, we had a Leave campaign, just as you've run a campaign, Zach Goldsmith ran a campaign, Christian Wormoff, the Labour Party, voters knew what they were voting for in your by-election. They knew what they were voting for in the EU referendum. Why do we think that one election should be rerun and one shouldn't? Well, on the uh, in the referendum, it wasn't clear what people were voting for wasn't when it? they uh, voted Leave. There, were, there wasn't a clear I was very uh, manifesto clear. set up. There wasn't a clear manifesto set out for the terms of the, uh, you know, we voted for a departure but not a destination uh you know we there was no clear manifesto for what happened to you know our membership of the single market or what there was the remain campaign said we were going to leave the single market if we voted out i Yes, they did. They repeatedly. Every single mem- leading member of the Remain campaign said a vote to leave the EU was a vote to leave the single market. Nothing unclear about that at all. I am I'm really sorry, but Sarah only has to leave now. No, she doesn't. Sarah, if you're not if you want to be elected member of parliament, I think you should probably be able to answer some simple questions about your policy. Can you get Sarah back on the line, please? Sorry about that. We've waited an hour. We've, I don't know who you are. We've waited an hour to have this interview. If she doesn't want to answer questions from a, a radio station, perhaps she's not fit to be an MP. Yeah, I'm very sorry. She's got another interview now. Has she got another interview no. now? That's funny, because she was booked in for this time. So, that's the Liberal Democrats, folks. Now, I've got to be honest, I've, I've, I've voted. I'm a floating voter. I have voted for many different uh, parties in my time. I voted Lib Dem on a number of occasions. I'm not anti-Lib Dem. I welcome the fact they've got nine MPs. I want a, a another party to be in the House of Commons who can provide opposition to the government. I'm scared to live in a democracy where we don't have a proper opposition, which we certainly don't have under Jeremy Corbyn. At this time, I wanted to ask Sarah Olney a lot more questions. Clearly, she doesn't feel she's up to those questions, which is a bit of a shame, isn't it?